Hi, Mrs. Edwards here. And Miss Summer. Ah, uh, Miss Cindy. So, <laughs> um, we have your Christmas packet here that we're going to go over to make sure that you know what to do with it. And there's there are five activities here. Activity one is the Christmas tree blackout. So, with the Christmas tree blackout, we're gonna cut these. And Miss Summer, this is your tree. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This is my tree. Okay, so we're gonna cut out the ornaments and place them in a pile. Now, we're not gonna cut out all of them because that would take too long. So, we're just gonna cut out a couple and show you how that works. There we go, we got a bunch of them. We're gonna place them in a pile. Okay. All right, Miss Summer, you can go first. Okay. Oh, that one's a blank one. <laughs> okay, hey, what letter is that? O. Okay, what sound does it say? Ah. Can you think of something that starts with that letter? Mm, octopus. Oh, good job, Miss <laughs> Summer. Go ahead and take a Smarty and put it on the matching letter on your Christmas tree. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> okay, this is an M, and it says mmm, and a word that starts with this is monkey. Oh, good okay. job. Okay, okay. You so now it's called blackout because whoever gets their tree full first wins. And if you draw a card and you're like, um, M, guess what? If you didn't get it right, you don't get to put a Smarty on it. It has to go back in the pile. Okay, that is the activity number one. Here is activity number two. In activity number two, it's the North Pole game and you've got the sight word snowflakes. So you do the same type of thing where you're going to be cutting up the snowflakes and putting them in a pile. There's two sheets of snowflakes. Once again, I'm not gonna cut all of them up because you would be here forever. But I'm gonna just kind of give you the idea. Okay, Miss Summer, will you pick a color of Smarty and put it on start? Yep, I'll be yellow. Okay, I'm gonna be pink. Okay, will you draw first? Okay. What sight word is that? Uh. Okay, it says that you can go one because there's a number one underneath uh. Okay, I'll go one space. Okay. Guess what, I have the same sight word, it's uh. <laughs> so I will go one space, your turn. All right. Oh, I can't get it. Um, do. Do. I don't think that's right. Oh. Sorry, you can't go. Okay. Nice try. We're putting it <laughs> at the bottom. Okay. You. Oh, it has a number two here. So that means I go two. You. And I'm pink, right? Yep, you're pink. Okay, one, two. So you see, get the idea, getting to the winner. And if you didn't get it right, you don't get to go. All that fun stuff. That's activity number two, and they should all be labeled. This is activity number three. Miss Summer, this is our nonsense word fluency. So in this activity, I'm gonna set a timer for one minute, and you see, you gotta see how many words you can read in one minute. Okay. And on the other side, it's the same thing, except it's with letter names, not sounds, but names. So I'm going to pretend to set my timer, and then she'll, she'll start reading. Ready, begin. Er, Et, ret, j, i, f, jif, p, u, x, pucks. Okay, let's pretend that the timer beeps. Then, as a mom, I would put a little line here and say, oh, good job, you got three words. And then the next day, we would do it again to see if you could get more words. Okay, so, and then this, let's say that you're setting your timer. Okay. You want to begin. Ready, set, go. F. R I G O P D B S A. Okay, so if I get it wrong, I got X wrong because I said D, then you as a mom would keep track, or the dad or the grown up would keep track on your hand, you know, and at the very end, you would tell them, okay, these circle the letters that they got wrong, practice them. And then the next day, you do it again and see if they can get further. So I need you to do this at least four times during the holiday break, please. Okay, in order to get your price.
Okay, that is activity number three. Activity number four. We've got a matching game here, Miss Summer. Okay, so we're just gonna show you how to do it. You get your Christmas trees on one side. You get your ornaments on the other side. And you turn one over from each. Okay. Go ahead and see if you can get a match, Miss Summer. All right. Two plus zero equals two. Oh, two. I got, she a, match. got a match. Then she gets yes. to go again. All right. Okay. Eight plus two equals ten. Ba bing. There you go. She got two matches. So um, there are several ways that children can um, do these problems. Sometimes they can try their fingers. They can also try drawing dots on on a paper or underneath here. They can also try to count on. So they go eight, hold up two fingers, and go nine, ten. That's the most advanced way to do it. Okay, so that's that activity. And the very last one is reading for 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes you read, you get to color one Santa. All right, here, you need to have all of these filled out in order to get a prize. So that is your homework. Thank you for joining us. Bye.